Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a radical equation, a very radical one. So we have x equals square root of 1 plus the square root of 1 plus the square root of 1 plus x, and we're going to be solving for x values. I'm going to show you a graph at the end, which is pretty interesting because we're going to be looking at different um, iterations of this. Anyways, let's get started. So notice that this expression contains x inside and x is equal to this huge radical. So if I replace this x with x, which is this whole thing, then I get the following. x equals square root of 1 plus the square root of 1 plus the square root of 1 plus. Now x will be replaced with this whole thing. And that's going to be the square root of 1 plus the square root of 1 plus the square root of 1 plus x. I hope that makes sense. So we're going to get more radicals. And if I keep doing this, like I can do it one more time, million more times, and then replacing this x with the original one, or if you want, you can use this one, right? And then you're just basically going to keep getting something like this. The square root of 1 plus the square root of 1 plus the square root of 1, dot, dot, dot. And of course, you're going to have an x at the end, right? Equals x. So how do we evaluate something like this? So here's the idea. If you look at the original problem, if the square root of 1 plus x is the same as x, then you get the square root of 1 plus x, and then 1 plus that, which is the same as x, and you get x equals the square root of 1 plus x. In other words, this works if x is equal to square root of 1 plus x. We'll talk about the details of this equation, but before that, this is an infinite expression uh, that converges to a certain value. And the answer is actually fairly interesting. So it has some interesting uh, flavors in it. So let's go ahead and do the following. So if you have an expression like the square root of 1 plus the square root of 1 plus the square root of 1, we set it equal to x. And then we realize that this whole thing is the same thing as the original. So we get something like the square root of 1 plus x equals x. Wow, that's kind of interesting, right? Remember, we had that little x inside here, but there are infinitely many radicals in between, so we can't really enumerate them, right? But this is an infinite equation, so we kind of have to look at the limit. We're not going to look at the limit. We're just going to loosely solve this equation, keep it less rigorous, you know, for general folks, for everyone like myself, and then find the x value. And I will talk about why that x value works and why others don't. So how do you solve this kind of equation? It's a radical equation, so normally you would just square both sides, right? Let's go ahead and do it. We get 1 plus x equals x squared. Now put everything on the same side. x squared minus x minus 1 equals 0. This is a quadratic equation, right? So we can solve it using the quadratic formula. x equals negative b, which is 1, plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 1, minus 4ac, which is plus 4, 1 plus 4 equals 5, so this becomes square root of 5, and that is divided by 2. This quadratic equation has two solutions. One of them is, you can call it x sub 1 if you want, I won't, x uh, 1 minus root 5 over 2, and the other one is 1 plus root 5 over 2. Unfortunately, maybe fortunately, 1 minus root 5 is less than 0. Therefore, this is a negative quantity. Why did I say that? because this does not satisfy the original equation. And you can easily find it by substitution. Like if you plug this in, you would notice that you get square root of 1 plus 1 minus root 5 over 2, and then that would equal 2 plus 1, 3 minus root 5 over 2, and then the square root of that equals x, which is 1 minus root 5 over 2. But the square root of a positive number cannot be negative in the real world, so that solution does not satisfy the original problem. So we're, we're going to discard it, and we're going to go with the second one, which is actually the golden ratio, right? Okay, great. So awesome. This problem has a golden flavor, even though the title may not say so, or maybe it'll say so. Who knows? This is the answer. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at some graphs. 
All right, so for this purpose, I graphed a couple different things and I don't want you to get confused. So I try to use uh, dotted lines of different thickness. So hopefully you can see what I'm talking about. First of all, our original problem was the square root of one plus the square root of one plus the square root of one plus x. So we had the one three times, right? But again, you could have more than this. It would pretty much be the same thing. Or you could just have this instead, and again, you would have the exact same solution. Because if this is true, then replace this with x, and you'll get this again, and that replace this with x, and you'll get the original one. You see? It kind of repeats itself. But notice that here, as you increase the number of ones and radicals, your equation is becoming more horizontal, per se. Hopefully you can see what is going on here. And eventually, it is going to turn into a horizontal number at the limit case, of course, because we find a numerical value. So we kind of have like something y equals 1 plus root 5 over 2 at the end. And that's a horizontal line, right? And notice that they all pass through the same point, which is 1 plus root 5 over 2, comma, 1 plus root 5 over 2. And since x and y values are equal, they're also on the line y equals x. Y is y equal to x because remember the square root of 1 plus x is equal to x and that means y equals x. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, actually, let's say see you next time. Be safe, take care, and bye-bye.